gorgeous Virgos, this is Devs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 24th of May 2024. Virgo, it's lovely to be with you guys. I hope you've had an amazing week. Let's find out how your person feels about you. The deck that I'm using is the Arcanum Tarot. Everything as you know by now is down below in the description box. The link to my website if you'd like a reading, all the decks I use, and the link to join the channel if you're interested in membership. So Virgo, are you ready? Should we see what's going on? Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is a TGIF reading for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Friday the 24th of May 2024. How does Virgo's person feel about Virgo? Thank you, Michael. I'm feeling a knot of tension in my stomach. Someone here is stressed. <sighs> There's a sense of, oh, God, I've got to sort this out or I've got to realign everything. Move this here, move that there. Oh, check the details. OK, Virgo, you are stressing about something, guys. Bless you. Queen of Wands. Virgo, I feel that you're dealing with a Queen of Wands. I don't see this as you. Now they could see you as passionate, driven, fired up, creative, yes. But why do I feel this is someone else? Ten of Pentacles, okay. Okay, Virgo. Knight of Swords. Wow. Virgo, you're rushing towards a Queen of Wands to talk about the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Cups. There's a sense of disappointment in the situation you find yourself in. Tower. Wow. OK, now, my lovely Virgos, two major messages coming through. Either Virgo, you feel that you've somehow been duped out of a lot of money by a Queen of Wands and you're angry. It could be a feminine fortune hunter. OK, and it might be you've suddenly realised what this woman was up to. OK, could be anyone. Virgo, you may have had a tower moment realising that a Queen of Wands that you met, you were very attracted to, you've been dating, is in a commitment with someone else. Tower, I didn't know you were married. Yeah, I feel as if this type of readings come out before. But anyway, let's keep going, guys. The Ten of Wands. You're feeling really burdened, Virgo, because of something that's come to light, maybe in another area. You could be thinking about a Leo. OK, guys, Knight of Cups. All right. What are you up to, Virgo? Ace of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords, Virgo. Wow, okay. Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm dealing with a masculine who is either having issues with an Aries Leo Sag, who might have done something sneaky with the Ten of Pentacles, maybe to obtain the Ten of Pentacles, or you're a masculine Virgo, King of Pentacles, who's realised that a woman that you were very interested in is in a long-term commitment with someone else and you didn't know that they were married. 
Now, with the Ten of Wands and the Sun, this could have been a woman who lived in another area. So that might be how they hid the fact they were in a connection with someone else. Or this is you realising, Virgo, that someone schmoozed you, love-bombed you, romanced you to get hold of the Ten of Pentacles. This could even have been a scammer, Virgo, a female scammer. You're walking away from this person who romanced you. You're walking away, clutching hold of four pentacles. You may have lost six pentacles. She could have got away with six pentacles out of ten. You're feeling heartbroken, realising what this was all about. This is someone who seduced you, love-bombed you, either to obtain financial security somehow, or someone who simply treated you as her bit on the side, you know? Huh, guys, I tell you what, the energies that come through in this reading are crazy. Underneath the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, Virgo, you may have lent this Queen of Wands a lot of money. She may have said, oh, of course I'll pay you back. Yeah, of course I will. I just need a few thousand. You know, I'm going to sort myself out. Because you're looking financially stable, Virgo. So you may have given this woman money with the view that, you know what? I love her. We're dating. Everything's cool. Only to realise that she may have run off with your cash. Five of Cups. Ten of Swords. Virgo. The Lovers. What you realised, Virgo, was that you were actually working on a third party situation. This could have been someone also who talked to you about building a business together. Let's invest in this new business. We could have a beautiful relationship. We're going to make lots of money. You may have given this woman money and then she may have just left. You may have looked back and thought, wow, you know what? It was odd. She never took me to her house. I didn't know exactly where she lived. You may look back, Virgo, and it may all sort of slot into place. Yeah. Virgo, you're looking at the past thinking, I can't believe I was duped. I can't believe I was duped. So, my lovely Virgos. God, these readings are heavy. As I said, Virgo, one of two situations. You either met a woman, dated her, thought, oh my God, I'm going to marry her. You may even have proposed. But shock, she then had to admit that she was married to somebody else and it floored you because you felt this was your woman. Or Virgo, you met a gorgeous, seductive woman, Queen of Wands. She saw you coming, sitting in the King of Pentacles. That can be somebody who was relatively well off. What you later realised was she was after your money. This could have been a female scammer. Used her feminine wiles to get money out of you and then just ghosted you. You're looking back. You can't believe it. We were lovers. I put money into this. What happened? So Virgo, for some of you, it might have been both situations. It might have been both situations. You could have been dealing with a woman who was married, who might have been working in partnership with her husband to find a guy with cash. And that guy was you. You may not have seen this coming, Virgo. So, wow. Let's get some messages from the angels, Virgo. Okay, guys, here we go. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, from the angels? What do the angels have to say for my lovely Virgos? Not the right time. Okay, Virgo, I think... You're wanting to race towards this woman and basically say, I need to talk to you, right? The Knight of Wands is normally seen as someone sat in passion, but passion turned on its head, Virgo, is anger. I think this is you heartbroken and wanting to move towards this woman very angry to talk to her about exactly what happened. What are the angels saying? 
helpful people. Helpful people. Within the next few weeks, okay Virgo, you're going to be talking to some people to see if they can help you in the situation. It may be to try and heal you. It could be pertaining to your finances. The situation will improve, Virgo, okay? You're going to get out of this. You'll be fine. I think you're ready, Virgo, to detach and look to the future. But there seems to be a seed of anger inside you where you just want to have it out with this woman. You just want to have it out with this woman. You're angry. You're upset. You could have lost money. This is you sitting in disbelief. If you believe. If you believe in your own strength, courage and determination, you'll get out of this Virgo. You'll be fine. take action. Now, the angels could be advising you that you need to take some kind of legal action. It could be against this woman. Or Virgo, you are wanting to have a final conversation with the Queen of Wands because you want to look her straight in the eyes and hear the truth. So you were married all along or you just wanted my money. You just want to hear it from her. Because Virgo, whoever this is, I think you put this woman on a pedestal. You thought this was the woman that you were going to marry. All right. Underneath the deck, choose a new direction, Virgo. So once you've wrapped this cycle up, the divine is saying, just move forward. Okay. Let's get some messages, Virgo, from this Queen of Wands to you. I feel as if, guys, I just want to give you closure. You know, that's what this is. All right, hidden truth. Archangel Michael, what would this Queen of Wands want to say to Virgo? I know I messed up everything. I replay your conversations over and over. I wish I treated you better. I lost myself for a little while. I'm becoming a better person. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, Virgo, realise that she upset you. I feel for many of you out there resonating with this, that's an understatement. I think you were devastated, Virgo, because I feel this is a woman that you saw as your future wife. I remember every detail of that day. So, Virgo, that might have been the day where you put her on the spot and said to her, what the hell's going on? I think you're married. Or you may have said to her, where's the money that I gave you? I thought we were starting a business. And she said, I'm sorry, I haven't got it. She may have given it to someone else. Or she may have just ghosted you. Whatever the situation, Virgo, whether or not you found out something on a particular day or whether or not there was an argument, she remembers. She remembers. Oh, Virgo. My life is not as together as it seems. Virgo, I don't know. I mean, she may have been in a very unhappy relationship. She just couldn't bear to tell you that she wasn't single. Or she could have been struggling financially and she couldn't bear to relay that to you. And maybe when you gave her money for whatever reason, I'm getting here, you two may have been talking about starting some kind of business. Maybe she just banked it and ghosted you. 
She thought, okay, great, going to put the money in my account and then I'm just going to walk away from Virgo. You may decide to take legal action if that's the case. I think there was a lot that this woman was hiding from you, Virgo. Yeah. Wow, guys. I regret lying to you. So she lied to you, Virgo. This is a woman who used her body, her face, her seductive ways to pull you in, either because she was miserable in a long-term relationship and she didn't have the courage to tell you and she kept this going for quite a long time, could have been a long-distance connection, or she might have asked you to go into business with her, something like that, Ten of Pentacles. You might have given her quite a lot of money to do this. And there might have been a romantic connection as well between the two of you, right? We're going to become a power couple. We'll start a business together, you know, and she just left with your money. Whatever this was, Virgo, you will be OK. You'll recover. But this might have been a very difficult lesson. So for my Virgo girls out there, I am so sorry. If I have time, I'll do a bonus. But I've done two or three bonuses already for this set of readings. It's been very heavy energy. A lot of difficult messages coming through. But from here, Virgo, we'll move into the second reading. Let's have a look and see what's going to be happening in your life over the next few months. We're going to be looking at now, 24th of May, around about that period through until the end of the year. All right. So I'll see you guys there. Here we go, Virgo. Let's get into this and see what comes through. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Virgos over the next few months? Thank you, Michael. Over the next few months, what do we have for my lovely Virgos? Thank you, Michael. Wow, I'm hearing a shadow of my former self. I'm just a shadow of my former self. This might have rocked your self-confidence, rocked your self-esteem. Yeah, two of wands, knight of swords, you're standing at crossroads, you're so angry about this, Virgo, you're so angry about this. She may have just depleted you, you know, made you feel stupid. How could I be taken in in that way, you know, guys? Forgive any noise outside, guys. There's a lot of renovations going on in Nice, and uh, it's a windy day. So, my lovely Virgos, yeah. Two of Wands, Knight of Swords. You're standing at crossroads. It may be you're thinking, what the hell do I do now? You know, she's gone. I thought this woman was going to be the love of my life. Um, she may have left with money, your money. You're angry. You can't believe it. It's as if you're sitting there in disbelief. OK. So, guys, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo, you've been looking at the past. You may be thinking about your savings. God, I don't know if you gave this woman your savings. Five of Wands. Conflict, drama. Looking back. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, Virgo, you may... Have said to this woman, you know, we'll go into partnership together. We'll build a great business together. You thought she was fully on board. Nine of Wands, Virgo. Yeah, this depleted you. This just depleted you. And you're still thinking about the tower. Shock. You could have connected to a Scorpio. You could have connected to an Aries, a Leo or a Sag. This was a shock. You didn't expect this person to behave in this way. Ace of Swords. You know the truth. You know who this person really is now. You've detached. Yeah. Yeah. The truth is, she was sat in devil energy. She was sat in toxic energy. Queen of Pentacles. 
She could have been in a relationship with someone else. She may have heavy Capricorn in her chart, Virgo, or you may have Capricorn in your chart. You are obsessed with marrying this woman. You are obsessed with marrying this woman. This is a shock to say the least, Virgo. Yeah, you may have found out that she was married to a King of Cups in a long-term relationship. You were in love with this woman, Virgo. I'm hearing Cancer. She could have been married to a Cancerian or she could have had Cancer in her chart. Eight of Wands. Okay. Virgo, you may be tempted to speak to the King of Cups, her husband. Seven of Swords. About what she did. If she took money... You don't know, though, whether or not she was in cahoots with her husband to fleece you out of cash. The world. Yeah, she may live in another country. You may be trying to locate her, find out exactly where she lives. Yeah, you may have found out she was in a happily ever after long term commitment with her husband in another area of the world. And she just wanted a fling. Or they worked together, knowing that you were wealthy, potentially king of pentacles, to get cash out of you. Yeah. So she got what she wanted from you, whether or not it was just passion or whether or not it was money. And she just left. She ghosted. Guys. Seven of cups under the deck. You might have been sat in emotional confusion about this for the longest time. Surely she'll be back. Surely it was just a joke, right? But I think you quickly realised, Virgo, that it was done. Scorpio energy. It was just done. Eight of swords. In your head. What's going on here? I don't understand, right? Page of pentacles. Um, we signed a contract. I gave you money. I transferred I transferred cash into your account. Um, I thought we were going to get engaged. Ten of swords. Betrayal. Massive betrayal. And I think with the page of swords, Virgo, um, the truth came out. You either found out the truth or she eventually admitted the truth and then just detached from you. This is you. King of Pentacles. You had to cope with a difficult message of truth, Virgo, and it floored you. So, goodness me, guys, what can I say? The signs have really gone through it this particular period of time. I don't know what's going on with the energies. But from here, Virgo, um, let's have a look at your future. I just want to pull a few cards to try and lift us out of this really heavy energy. So Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Virgos? Thank you, Michael. The Queen of Cups. So, Virgo, you may be destined to move forward into a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Justice. Wow. Wow. And you may feel this is a far more balanced relationship. This could be the person that you end up marrying in the future. She could be a Libra. Wow, beautiful energy, guys. Knight of Cups. Virgo, you're heading very swiftly towards a Queen of Cups in the future. This is someone that you're going to fall in love with. Virgo, this is looking really good for you guys. I'm so glad. Three of Cups. Yeah, you're hoping to reunite, come together with a Queen of Cups. So this could be somebody from your past. Yeah, you're manifesting new love. Or you may be reconnecting with somebody you knew in the past, somebody that you trust, you know. So Virgo, let's dip into the Oracle deck to find out messages from the universe to you. 
All right, lovely Virgos. What have you got for Virgo, please, Michael? Thank you from the universe. Breathe, Virgo. Breathe. Relax, chill, centre yourself. Get yourself into a place where you can release any heartbreak or stress. You may decide to take yourself away for a few days just to relax, to get over this. Breathe. Interesting, to the sea. So Virgo, I don't know, you may be booking a holiday, you may be deciding to get yourself to a place where you're near a lake or the ocean or a beautiful river. What they're saying is take some time for yourself. You need to heal from this. This was difficult. This was difficult. Orphaned. Oh, bless you. The universe knows you feel a little bit on your own right now, a little bit lost, you know, what do I do from here? Where do I go? I'm not quite sure what the future is going to bring. They're saying just relax because you've got happiness ahead of you, Virgo. I think this knocked you sideways. I think this dented your confidence. But I feel there's a lot of support and guidance from the angels, from the archangels. You're going to be absolutely fine. Yeah. Lean on your community at this time, Virgo, or you may be going online. I don't know. You could be deciding to warn people not to be scammed. You know, this is what happened to me, that sort of thing. You've also got a lot of, you've also got a lot, Virgo, of people around you in your immediate area. You know, so lean on them for support too. All right. So Virgo, as always, we're going to close out the reading with a message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Virgos? Your closing message of guidance for Virgo. Thank you, Michael. So Virgo, they're saying, spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Virgo, we've got a lot of nature shown. OK, we seem to have a lake. We've got the ocean. We've got a forest. I feel, Virgo, the divine is saying, get out there, breathe some fresh air. So if you've been sat inside, right, surfing the net or flicking through channels on the TV, I just want to take my mind off things. No, get out of the house, okay? And breathe in some fresh air. You need a break, Virgo. Have a change of scene. All right, guys, I am leaving the reading there. Have a lovely weekend. Don't stress, Virgo. I feel the worst is behind you. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Virgo.